So, hello everyone. Uh, yeah, please enter. This talk is just an introduction, so <laughs> don't worry. So, yeah, welcome to FOSDOM Geospatial. The Geospatial Trek is the third time we organize this at FOSDOM. Um, who has been here one of the last years? I don't know. Okay, so at least one or just a few people knew the rules. So, <laughs> okay, so maybe, uh, so I'm just saying a very small word here, then uh, Barry will start with his presentation. Uh, some things important to notice, we don't have a break at noon, so you just choose when to go out to have lunch. Um, that's to make sure that there's no queue if every dev room has a break at the same time. So, uh, yeah, try to figure out when you grab something to eat. Um, some other things, and now I put up my presentation. So, uh, well, this dev room, it's organized by people from OSGO, from Location Tech, from OpenStreetMap. Um, I myself, I am mostly active in OSGO and more specifically in the Belgian section of OSGO, so OSGO.be. Um, and, well, I really hope that yeah, if there are people from these projects here, please, and, and you want to run another edition, please contact me, don't worry. Um, it would be nice if we can get a big group uh, supporting your organization. Okay, so come in. So, so just some, uh, some, some things to notice. Um, our room is not yet full, but if it is full, please sit closer to each other. Uh, sometimes you see people standing at the side. It's not needed. Um, if there is a sign on the door which says full, then you should not enter a room. It's also for security reasons. Um, if there are too many people, the security can close the event, which means of all of them. So we don't want that to happen. Then I have some things for the present presenters. Um, you get 25 minutes and five minutes break, and I or somebody else from the dev room managers, but I don't see the others yet. Um, I think it was a good, a good night yesterday. We will show signs. And I will show signs, uh, if I show five minutes left, it means that you uh, still have five minutes after that for questions and, 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 and everything. And then after that, we have five minutes break to switch presenters. If you are really in a discussion, you can continue, but then expect the, the next presenter to already put his laptop and things like that. Um, so the, you can come in, don't worry. Um, if you're a presenter and there are questions from the audience, please repeat them. Because we are uh, using video, so I wear a microphone. It's not for you hearing me. Um, it's because we are recording um, for the sound quality. So please repeat questions. And then final thing I would like to say, uh, I want to promote a bit some uh, activities that we have. Next month, uh, that's in Belgium. I don't know how many people from Belgium are here, but uh, OSGO Belgium uh, will be organizing a QGIS workshop, how to make a plugin. Maybe some of you are interested. Um, another thing which will be happening in March is BEGEO, which is a conference in Brussels from all kinds of uh, geospatial things. And there are about 2,000 participants. And OSGO, so the Open Source Geospatial Foundation of Belgium, we will have a track there. And if you would like to present, you have to ask me today, because we will decide tomorrow who will be in that track. <laughs> um, it's a very nice thing because you can reach both non, well, open source developers and, and non-open source people in the same place. Then there are two more activities which I want to promote. It's uh, Phosphor G International, which is an international conference in Boston this summer, I think in August. Um, Phosphor G, it's called, it's a free and open source for geospatial. Uh, that's a conference of OSGU. We have another one at the start of July in Marne la Vallée, in Paris actually, um, which will be a more European gathering. And I forgot to add the OpenStreetMap conference. I don't know if anyone knows where that will be this year. No? Japan. Okay. It's in Japan. In Japan, okay. Also nice. Last year we had it here in Brussels at the Free University of Brussels, but that's another university than this one. Anyway, so that was my story. Um, I think Barry can prepare himself.
Um, okay. We will only start at 9.30 exact because yeah. for well, people will still be coming in and uh, it's also easier for the video. Yes.